Hi, it's Kirsten and Jörg. Today we're going to share a favorite German cake recipe, Flockentorte. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> it really is. It's a favorite in our family. So stay tuned for the recipe and we hope you will enjoy it. And now we're going to make this beautiful German cake. And for us, it's the first time we're making the cake. Yeah, you, you might have noticed that Jörg and I share a lot of recipes that are always a first for us here on this channel. And we think it's actually a good thing. Yeah. Because then you know if, it, if it's easy or difficult to make. So. Yeah, if we can do it, you can do it. Most definitely, yeah. And now we will show you what you need. As always, this will be a gluten-free cake. So we use gluten-free flour. Then you need corn flour, sugar, baking powder. These are chocolate chips, ground roasted hazelnuts, eggs, butter. And this is something very German. It's called Vanillinzucker, which doesn't really exist here in the UK. No, I've never seen it in the shops here. No, but to get the same result, you can either use vanilla bean extract or a vanilla pot. And now we're going to make the cake as a first step. So I mixed the sugar and the butter and now I'm going to beat it until it's very foamy. And just to give you a little heads up, this cake is quite heavy, isn't it, Jörg? Yes, it's got a lot of calories. Yes, definitely. But the good thing is, I think the last cake we baked was back in October, and we tried to work out as much as possible this week, so we can indulge a little bit. It's not too bad. But now let's continue. So I'm adding the vanilla sugar. Then you need to separate the eggs. So I'm going to add six egg yolks. So I just added half a teaspoon of baking powder to the flour and I also added the corn flour to the flour and the ground hazelnuts and the chocolate chips will be added bit by bit. Now I'm adding the hazelnuts. Then add the chocolate chips. And last but not least, beat the egg white. Now add the egg white and mix everything together. As you can see, our batter is very yellow again, which is down to the Burford brown eggs because the egg yolks are very yellow, but they are the best eggs. Mmm, it looks good. It does. Very fluffy. Ah. Mmm. I think you need to give it a try. Yeah. Mmm. Is mm. it good? Oh yeah. You can taste the hazelnuts. Mmm. And Jörg already greased the, the tin and it can go into the oven in a second. This is the best thing about yeah. baking cakes. and. 
Oh God. And now I'm going to be really bad. I'm going to be so bad. Mmm. And now this goes into the oven for 60 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius. If you look up Flockentorte on the internet, you will probably come across a, a ton of versions. Yeah, yeah, but the version we're making is out of Kirsten's mother's recipe book. Yeah, it, it is. My mom, she, most of the time, she makes this kind of cake yeah. for, for family parties. Yeah, it's very popular, our family. Yeah, it's gone like, I think it's one of the cakes that's gone in no time. Yeah. It's really, really popular. Yeah. Oh, that looks, looks nice. Looks amazing. And now we have to let it cool for, a, I don't know, about an hour. Yeah. And then we have to share step two. Yes. Yeah. So until the cake is cold enough for the second step, we're going to do some decorating work in the hallway. Yes. Like the, the, the thing uh, we showed you a couple of weeks ago yeah. with the pictures. So now, as we are not sure how to, let's say which pattern we shall use for the public pictures, I've created some... Paper. Brown paper. Brown paper. Yeah. And which has the exact size of the pictures. Yeah. So we can stick them to the wall and see how it will look like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Yeah, I think so. That should be high enough. This will be the Shakespeare picture. Yeah, that's the Shakespeare one. Are these the, the Oscar Wilde yes. pictures? No, they're the yes. Aubrey Beardsley, actually. Aubrey Beardsley. So. Now let's have a look. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. That's a possible pattern. I think the only thing we should do is probably hang the one on the right a little bit higher so we can hang the small ones higher as well. Yeah. And then I think it would totally transform this wall and make yeah. it look so nice when you walk up the stairs. Yeah, come on, I'll try. So, I think this is how we will do it. Yeah. And now, well, we have it, we, we now know what we want. And um, now we can continue with the cake and then continue with this wall. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, we can hang the pictures. Yeah. So now the cake is cool. And what you have to do is you basically scoop out the cake until you have an edge of about two centimeters an edge and a base of about two centimeters and then put it on a big tray okay it looks like this now and then you just crumble the rest with your fingers and put it in the oven for a couple of minutes. And now come the many calories. You need a lot of whipping cream. Yeah, treadmill, here we come. <laughs> the original recipe says 800 milliliters of whipping cream. We decided to take a little bit less, so this is 600 milliliters of whipping cream, yeah, which I'm going to beat now. So this is the cream, and now take three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Then your in German, Vanillinzucker. Zucker. 
two of these and as we mentioned earlier if you don't have these just add some drops of vanilla bean extract so I've got a wonderful chocolatey cream now so now just add the crumble to your whipping cream mixture and then it's almost done. Put the filling back into the cake. And we forgot to mention, keep some crumble for a decoration and we're nearly there. Last but not least, a bit of icing sugar on top and then put it in the fridge for about an hour so that it can cool down and then you can enjoy it. Well, Yak, what do you think for our first time? Yummy. <laughs> yes, yes, very, very yummy. So, you've got our secret family recipe. Yeah. And we hope you enjoy it. It's the next day and we are having a little break. As you've already seen in the video, we tried the cake. Yeah, and, and it was excellent. It is so good. So it's the next day and it's tea time for us now. Yeah. And we're having another slice. Or two. <laughs> or two. And we can honestly say, because it was our first time making this cake, it's so good. Yeah. Really good. It just takes time. It just takes a bit of time, but it's easy to make. And it works beautifully with gluten-free flour, which is a big plus as well. Yeah. And I think it's a great... I I now I don't know I'm not surprised that it's such a favorite yeah. in our family. But now stop talking, get eating. <laughs> uh, start eating. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So we just started, or Jörg started. I have to be fair. And I made a mistake. Don't worry. Which happens? It can be fixed. Yeah. Well, what, what happened, Jörg? I tried to. Let's see. To put the nail. Yeah, I put instead of putting the nail here. Yeah. I put it here. It's, I know, because I, I don't know. And there was a crack here and I believed that oh, it's here. Yeah. yeah. But it has to be here. So It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll things have to repair like, it now. Yeah. But um things like that happen. This sure. is just life. No, I'm angry. Ah, don't be. It can be fixed. Don't worry, Yog. Please. Shakespeare's up. Yeah. I think it looks good. And where the mistake that happened, I think you can easily fix that yeah, next week. The so. colour is really good. Yeah. So. Especially, yeah, because the colour is so yeah. good. You won't notice. No, no. It will be okay. Okay, now the next one. Mm-hmm. So that And that's London. Okay, you need this? You need this? Yes, I'll always check. To double check. Yeah. Yeah. We are really excited because our little gallery wall in the landing is completed. Yeah, and it looks really good. It does. I'm in love with it, Yerk. And we want to share it, so... Now let's have a look at our little gallery wall. Let's see. This is it. Ah. 
and we couldn't be happier. What do you think, Jörg? Yeah? Mm, looks good. I think it looks amazing. Yeah. I never would have believed that the pictures would look like this. I, well, I think it was the best idea yeah. to group these kind of pictures and, yeah, they are perfect yeah. here. And uh, I don't know, it really changes this whole way. It makes it look a bit more homely. Yes and cosy and I absolutely love it. Mm. So this is the look when you come down the attic room and wonderful, yep. honestly wonderful. You might find this little article helpful as well. It was in House and Garden back in 2019 I think but it's still relevant. And it's an article from Rita Koenig, who's a renowned interior designer. I really love her style. And it's called Rita Notes How to Frame and Hang Pictures. To give you a bit of help and some sources, I think. So I will leave a link for you down below in the info box. And here's my Pinterest account, because last time I received so many messages and people were saying that they couldn't find me, so I thought I would show you. It's called Kirsten, Life and Style in Britain, with all sorts of boards, flowers, British countryside, gorgeous places in the UK, and just things I really love. And Now this is our latest interior design book called perfect English farmhouse that I can wholeheartedly recommend. I will put the link for you down below in the info box as well in case you're looking for for gifts, if there's a birthday coming up or just for yourself. It's a beautiful book, beautiful as a coffee table book of course but it's lovely for browsing. I will share some of the inside in a second. So this is the inside beautiful houses and absolutely stunning interiors and for example if you take this room it is so classic English country style and it says it was decorated nearly 20 years ago and it looks still so stunning and it doesn't look dated at all on the contrary because it's so classic, it just doesn't go out of style, does it? So, it's wonderful. And I think this is something I really, really use. Because there's a directory of UK and US sources. So if you want to have a certain fabric or, I don't know, a certain bathroom or kitchen, you've got all the sources and it's really, really helpful. That's it for today and we hope you liked it. And if you try the cake, let us know what you think. Yeah. Because we really enjoyed the cake. Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, and I think it will be... Of course, we've known the cake for ages because we always have it in our yeah. family. But we've never made it ourselves, so this wasn't the last time. No, it wasn't. And, yeah, let us know what you think. And, of course, you will find everything down below in the info box, the recipe. And we hope to see you soon. Yes, stay tuned for the next video. Yeah. And until next time. Yeah, stay safe. Stay safe. And take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.